Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I hope that all is well with you. Let's see how your person feels about you at this time, how they see you, and other important insights the cards want to reveal. This may not resonate for all, but hopefully there is something here that you can take away from this reading. This is also geared towards the person that you guys have in mind. Thank you for your support. If you would also like to check my friend's channel, the link is down below, okay? This is for Virgo. How did they really feel about Virgo at this time? How did they see Virgo and what does Virgo need to know about this person? Alright, so starting this reading with the Eight of Wands energy, followed by the Emperor. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person very soon, Virgo. You may be receiving message, news, or update. It feels like it's something unexpected, though. This may come as a shock or surprise for some of you. We have the Ten of Cups energy and the Seven of Pentacles. But I'm also getting here that this person feels you're going to be skeptic or cautious when it comes to them. It may also be that you've taken some time here, Virgo, to really carefully analyze the situation with this person. It may be that you're starting to see things in a different angle and perspective. Let's see. With the Ten of Cups here, this person sees you as their Ten of Cups, Virgo. Fulfillment, joy, happiness. Feels like this person wants to be part of your circle, part of your life. They want to go deeper in this connection. Let's see. We have the Four of Cups energy. The Three of Wands. So somebody wants to reach out. I keep getting this. All right. Could also be that somebody give it, has given this person some type of advice. It may be family or father figure has given them advice. This person may have taken a step back to evaluate. You both may have actually given each other space and now this person wants to reach out. I feel like the advice being given to them was somebody very wise. They've taken the time about um, thinking things through what they need to change about this or themselves. I also feel like this was a matter of shifting their focus because it could be that this person was ignoring the offer, the cup here. It may be just a matter of shifting their focus and realizing that the opportunity they're looking for is already right in front of them. And it's only a matter of opening their heart and reaching out. All right. Three of Wands and Four of Cups. Now, Virgo, if you have already sort of rejected or distanced this person from this person, um, it feels like they're feeling very down about this. All right, that may not resonate for, for all of you, but I'm seeing that this person is feeling rejected, feeling down. Let's see, we have the Two of Pentacles energy. And the King of Pentacles. So you are this King of Pentacles energy. You're very grounded. I'm also getting that you're not lifting a finger on the situation for now. It may be that you're trying to observe, watch this person, or see what it is that they have to offer. All right. I feel like this person hesitated because the emperor, there's some some type of stubborn energy here in the past, or it was it must have been their ego as well that was putting up some some sort of defensive shield. Having them perhaps believe that people are out to hurt them. Or this might just turn out to be some type of hurt or disappointment. But I really see here a need to reach out. All right. They want to reach out here. I feel like this person may have also been holding themselves away from connecting and socializing. The energy of I only need myself. Some of you, you may be dealing with family, okay? Ten of Cups, family members or part of your circle, part of your community. Close, close relationship. May also be a father figure. Please take this however resonates. But they've been holding themselves away from socializing. The energy of I only need myself, I want solitude for now. 
but I'm getting that this person now wants to be part of this uh, group or family or relationship. All right. The ego here is a potential saboteur. It may have kept them distant. It may also be that this person is overthinking things too much. I also feel like this person is struggling where to begin. How do I reach out? How do I start reconnecting with Virgo? So the cards are saying it may just be in the simple things, like even a simple hello, right? Um, it may be a small step is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a sense of liberation with Eight of Wands from a stagnant energy that comes from doing something new. This may be a lot older person, so they were sort of sticking to their old ways here. Some type of pride and ego was definitely getting in the way. But with Eight of Wands, there's this aha moment, lightning strike, a liberation from a stagnant energy. It may be that it's fairly new for this person to be the one to reach out because in the past, you've been the one reaching out here, Virgo. You've been the one making effort. And the Seven of Pentacles is saying, you know that you have done your part. You've been supporting. You've been very open and embracing of this individual. But they need to take that first step as well. They need to put the effort in. You know, this card speaks about balance, give and take. Both parties mutually putting the same effort. So this is fairly new to this person. Them uh, finally releasing any pride and ego and reaching out. They have nothing else to lose but their fear or doubt or boredom as well with Four of Cups or any feelings of dissatisfaction that they may have been experiencing. So it's safe to say here, Virgo, that when this person distanced themselves from you, there might have been all those elements of fear, doubt, dissatisfaction or boredom, feeling down, feeling rejected, um, struggling to find their place here, but their place is with you with Ten of Cups. You are their Ten of Cups, a sense of belongingness. You make them feel safe, secure, and warm. You may have also built something for you and this person that can stand the test of time, but they were the only ones that were sort of doubting this, not being very consistent. And being an earth sign, you want consistency, you want stability, you want to build something that can um, stand the test of time is what I'm seeing. So clarifying these cards, we have the Queen of Cups. All right, so I'm really seeing escapism. Somebody was very withdrawn or moody. It may have come across as quite manipulative to some of you, Virgo, where this person keeps pulling back. But I'm getting that this person now wants to mend things with you. They may also be mustering the courage to approach you right now. They may have a very tough exterior, but I'm getting that deep down, this person feels sort of lost or feels um, out of place. And they now know that their place is with you, but they have to do their part with two of pentacles. You may be receiving a message or romantic gesture for some of you, some type of offer here, offer of love with Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands energy. They're at the precipice of taking that first step first hello you know to initiate communication we have the world card this may be somebody from a distance it could be a long distance relationship um we have the four of cups that showed up twice and the queen of swords so for some of you virgo you're really in the energy of the queen of swords where you're being very perceptive right now you're trying to really assess the situation in a rational perspective what happens if i take this person back queen of swords um she's very rational so you may be putting your emotions on the side here, despite having feelings for this person. You're a little bit skeptic, and I feel like you're not to blame for this. You're just protecting yourself as well. The Emperor shows up when you need to protect yourself, protect your heart and your space, your energy. So this person feels like you may be inclined towards skept uh, skepticism right now, or you may be suspicious about their true intentions especially with Queen of Swords and Four of Cups. So Virgo, if this was somebody that caused you hurt or pain or was wishy-washy at some point, they may have made you feel like they were not ready for the responsibility. I feel like this person wants to reconnect and earn your trust. 
and then they know that's not going to be easy it's going to require some type of discipline on this person's end they may have done things that really um lose your trust on them in the past okay and i feel like they've been getting counseling or advice it could be from a friend or a spiritual mentor a trusted person and that really is changing their perception of the situation Another message of the Four of Cups, this person may have been feeling down or out of sync or even depression here. I feel like they're also not approaching the matter in a healthy way. It's instead of like addressing their problems, they may have sought up for something unhealthy in the past. And that's why you're a little bit skeptic and cautious when it comes to this person. And another message here, Virgo, you may be the one giving advice to this person. Like you're telling them, you need to focus on you, you need to heal, you need to sort everything out. If you're going to be part of this family, this relationship, I need you to be the emperor that I need. Stable, grounded, you know what you want, you're clear um, in the mind and in the heart what it is that you want to build with me here. So there's a lot of message here, let's see. Now, with Five of Pentacles, they're facing a personal winter in their life. This could also be them feeling left out, feeling um, lost. Some of you, Virgo, if you already are moving on with your life, which, which means that you may be focusing on work, on family, and other important um, aspects of your life right now, they see you really progressing with Six of Wands, victory, success. Um, they're also saying that there's a lot of people being drawn to you. And this person is feeling left out, okay? But they're the ones that may have also said, I only need myself, I don't need anyone. There was some type of pride here. But I feel like loneliness or boredom or dissatisfaction is already sinking in. We have the hermit, yes. So some of you felt like this person ghosted you or you've been ghosted by this person a lot of times. And you're starting to realize I need something new in my life. I need to shift my focus back on self. All right, so take this message as however resonates. I do feel like Virgo, this person is coming back around. And they may be saying, I wanna make things right, I wanna change. Um, but you wanna see consistency and discipline. So with that being said, trust your intuition on this one. I feel like the ego is a potential saboteur here. Them saying, I need only myself. All right, we have Ace of Cups in reverse. So it could be that, Virgo, you're open for forgiving this person, but to take the offer, you're definitely skeptic or you just really want to carefully assess the situation, this person. If they definitely um, made progress from the last time that you were with this person, if that makes sense. But I see them really reaching out to you again. However, you want a change of heart with Ace of Cups. Okay. I'm going to be pulling an advice card for you here, Virgo. I hope that there's something here you can take away from this reading. The Four of Cups, by the way, showed up twice. For some of you, you may have already rejected this person. This may not resonate for all, but you may just be focusing on yourself for now. There's a lot of good things coming towards you here, Virgo. You may also go, go on a soul-searching journey, find yourself again. But there's a new beginning that awaits you. The situation with this past person is because they keep coming back and I feel like it's um, difficult to close this chapter for you unless you finally make a decision about the matter. So take some time to really think things through here, Virgo. All right, so the advice for you is soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Some of you, you have friends and family that will give you some advice, support system right now. You may also be dealing with family, somebody that has lost their way, they isolated, and now they're coming back around. So let me read what this card is saying, okay? They're trying to find their way back home is what I'm saying. Give me a second here. All right, it says here, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. 
It is time to call in your soul family and support team, people who get you at a soul level, people who are the same kind of weird as you, people who are your chosen family. They are coming and they are looking for you. If you haven't found them yet, this is a sign that they are close by. But in order for them to find you and recognize you when they do, it is important that you stop dimming your light and truly let yourself be seen. If you have already found them, they are, they are, then you are being called to let them support you and perhaps also assemble a wider support team. Your support team can consist of all types of people, such as a therapist, coach, mentor, or healer. Tune into what kind of support you need now. So this may also go out for the person that you are dealing with. Perhaps they're going through healing process right now, Virgo, therapy, counseling. Some of you may also be going through the same. There's an opportunity for healing and forgiveness, uh, but I'm seeing that the healing process may also need to be accomplished first before making a decision to really come together. All right. Please take this reading however fits your story. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.